Unlike some of y'all who's not washing y'all legs, I wash my full body irregularly. So I be going through my products. Do you go through yours? Hey gems, it's your girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be doing my April faves and empties. I am wearing my Invisalign, so if you hear the lisp, mind your business. You know what it is? <sighs> Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Now let's get into the video. So the list is kind of random, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty much all over the place. So we're just gonna get in where we fit in, okay? So first things first, I have been obsessed with the e.l.f. liquid blushes. And I never thought that I would be a liquid blush girly because I'm just like, my powder blushes, I try to pick the best of the best, okay? The cream of the crop. So like, I didn't feel like I needed an extra layer of work of something. But then I fell into the hype and I tried it and, oh, yes I do. <laughs> I love the e.l.f. blushes because they're affordable, they're pigmented, they blend beautifully, and they work for me in my makeup process because I don't necessarily apply these the way other people do, but they still work, okay? I actually need these to blend in with liquid, like my foundation, as well as powder, because I set my eyes immediately once I'm done concealing them. So I need these to work, and they do. But most importantly, they're e.l.f., so the price point is beautiful okay you can't go wrong you can't go wrong with elf like come on elf elf is a steve madden of makeup like the way they make dupes for all these different makeup products and higher end makeup goodies i just i love that for me i love it for me because it's affordable but it's good okay love that um i'm kind of cheating because i'm gonna feature this blush by mac but really Ooh, I'm talking about this one in particular, but y all, y all, you, if you guys watch any of my videos, my vlogs, my makeup content, you know I love a glowy cheek. So I'll use a blush topper on top of my blushes. Oh my God. My most recent fave is a MAC Hard To Get Extra Dimension blush. She is stunning and perfectly beautiful all by herself. But on top of the liquid blushes, it just makes such a beautiful glowy cheek combination that lasts all freaking day like i cannot get over it so yeah faves number one my next fave is actually the road peptide lip treatment i went ahead and got i think it's a set is my lens dirty hold on i know you're lying because it's not giving the clarity that i'm looking for like let's not let's not do that hold on How are we looking? Mm, or maybe the air is dusty. Are we clear? Are we clean, clear, and under control? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I got the three pack, I believe. One of the lip peptide treatments came a little gritty. I believe it's like the watermelon, whatever the pink one is. It did come gritty. I reached out to them. I let them know the situation, gave them the information about the, the serial number, the tube, all that. And they did refund me, so no beef about that. Um, I would have rather a replacement, but that's fine um i actually really 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 like these like a lot more than i thought i would because y'all know i love a lip product so i just try new things i did not expect for this to be like in my faves i really didn't um but she is so even though they do have different like scents and stuff the color is pretty much clear on me across the spectrum this one is unscented um i believe i have like a caramel or something like that and then like the, the either watermelon or strawberry i think that was the three um i actually can't really find a caramel salted caramel i think it is um but this is just like a plain clear gloss like nothing super special about it but the formula is beautiful i just really like the way it applies on the lips i mean technically there's nothing really special about this too i just really really like it <laughs> I just like it. I mean, I like what I like. So the next product is the Taraji P. Henson Exfoliating Body Polish. This has lactic acid. It has, I want to say, 
uh, glycolic acid. Yeah, it has niacinamide. It has uh, bakuchio. I'm not actually how to pronounce that, but basically all of those ingredients help in some way, shape, or form to help even and brighten the skin. Um, and so this is great. Uh, it has sugar particles as opposed to like the pumice that a lot of other body scrubs that I find. Um, like I Sephora might have. Um, I like that because you get the physical as well as the chemical exfoliant aspect, but it's not overly harsh, you know, and it actually it dissolves. The pumice, um, I don't like how it like sits at the bottom of the, the, of the tub when you use it. I, mean, I try to get into it. It's just, ugh, I just don't love it. I don't gravitate towards it. But like a sugar base, love that. And the vanilla tuberose scent is... Oh, it's the first thing that drew me to this and it's actually what keeps me coming back. Like, I don't use any body scrub consistently enough. Like I use scrubs, but I like to keep changing stuff. So some days it might be a chemical. Most days it's just a pretty sugar scrub, like a tree hut or whatever kind of scrub I have my music at the moment, a way scrub. And um, while I love that for me, I feel like I'm not using one consistently enough to see the benefits. So that is the goal with this one. I wanna use this one in particular straight through to really see how it's impacting my skin. But the ingredients are beautiful and the smell is amazing. And once again, I do love that, I use, that they use sucralose as a physical exfoliant. I just love this as a whole. Like Taraji put her foot in this one. She really did. Now, I just wanna see like how much my skin will transform using this and only this consistently. So once I do that, I'm gonna get back to y'all. But pray for me, y'all, cause y'all know I struggle with that cause your girl loves variety. I like to switch up my scents. Ooh, is that oil that's drip, drip, dripping? Even now I can smell it through the tube. It smells so freaking good. If you're a vanilla girl, you are going to love how this smells like, bruh. So the next product is the Necessaire Body Bar. <gasps> is this the right one? one. Okay. Am I lying to y'all? Is this the charcoal one? Ooh, I might be lying. No, it is. Aha! I'm screaming because I actually just got another kind, but this is the one that I use and abuse. Like I use this so sound, honey. But you guys know I ride for Necessaire. Their body wash is literally that girl. And I thought she was that girl before, but I really knew she was that girl when my skin broke out. I had an allergic reaction. My skin just gets bougier and bougier as time goes on, showing like nothing, which you guys will see later on in this video. She has beef with everybody, like girl, but she gets along magnificently with Necessaire. Now you would think as someone who has bushy skin, who loves Necessaire, I would only use Necessaire. <laughs> but that's a discussion for another day. Like we know we love, we, we love products over here, okay? But this charcoal one, I, I'm opening a new one because the one I have in my shot right now is crispy looking. I didn't want to sub subject y'all to that, okay? But, ah, oh, I'm obsessed. Truly, truly obsessed with this bar soap. And once again, it's amazing at helping to clear any like skin things I might have going on from using a different kind of deodorant or whatever the case may be. It's usually deodorant though. The deodorant is usually the culprit for me. But I use this for a couple of days, baby, clears me right up. And that's how I know, not only does it smell good, this doesn't smell good, this smells like nothing really, like charcoal, it smells like nothing. But the body wash smells really good. But not only does it smell good, not only does it lather well and cleanse well, but the way it it enhances my skin, it heals my skin. I feel like chef's kiss, amazing. So I'm a lover, a forever stand of the Necessaire brand, okay? And it's Necessaire to me. See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> now this next product I have been using consistently, okay? consistently for the past month. My skincare has been very limited this month because I just didn't have it in me to do my usual 12 step routine, okay? Hands up, put me in prison, okay? I have been doing the bare minimum with my skincare routine and that has allowed me to truly see how my girl right here is working, okay? This is the Polish Choice 25% Vitamin C in Glutathione Clinical Serum. Glutathione, Glutathione, Glutathione. Yeah, um, it targets sun damage, improves uneven skin, 
and pro collagen to visibly firm good for all skin types now she has several and by she i mean paula paula has several vitamin c serums in her lineup um someone did a video breaking down the benefits of the different vitamin c serums a beginner guide to using vitamin C in your skincare routine. So vitamin C is one of the most beneficial skincare ingredients that you can apply topically to your skin. It targets sun damage, uneven skin tone, the harmful effects of pollution, and the signs of aging. If you are new to incorporating vitamin C in your routine or just don't know where to start, I say the Paula's Choice All is Bright set is a pretty good option. So let's go through it. If you want to correct sun damage and discoloration, use the 25% vitamin C in glutathione clinical serum. If you want to reduce the look of dark circles, use the C5 Super Boost Eye Serum. If you want to brighten and boost your glow, use the C15 Super Booster. And if you want to hydrate, firm, and brighten, use the C5 Super Boost Moisturizer. And if you want to do all of the above, then use all of the above. Just be sure to finish off your routine with SPF during the day. And there you have it, your guide to brighter, healthier skin. This is the one that appealed to me the most, that, that had the most benefits I was looking for. So I said, let me try this one. Um, and I have been using this consistently in Bay B when I tell you, this just makes my skin look more even and like, not necessarily like super bright, but it just evens out the skin. Now, when I look close, I still see things in my skin that I, I could work on, but like, if you stand back and look at my skin overall it's a lot more even than it used to be i remember looking in the mirror one day and i was like it's giving a fresh face it's giving like i don't know it was just giving refreshed and i was like what like i'm not doing all that i be doing so like what is giving that effect because usually if i do like the bare minimum i don't get that you know but doing the bare minimum with this included i clearly saw the difference and i'm not i'm not mad when i tell you i already have another one of this in my cart ready to go because i've been using two pumps of this sometimes three if i'm feeling froggy but two pumps usually gets my whole face and my neck okay and i can honestly say i really see a difference with this and i will continue to keep buying this like <sighs> popping as a vitamin c popping love her life now, if you guys watch my vlog and you have already heard my sentiments about this next product, and that is Glossier U. Now, this fragrance, I, I don't even understand how I love it so much. I never thought this would be my favorite to list. How does she make the cut, you ask? I still don't know. When I first, the very first time I smelled this perfume, I put her down. Ooh, I spit a little bit. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh my God, I have lipstick all over my teeth. Y'all weren't even gonna tell me that's fake. Dang, y'all weren't even gonna tell me. Oh, I had sanitizer on that. <sighs> so many things going on right now, like, send help. The very first time that I picked this up, like I smelled it, like I was like, okay, like she, she's cute, whatever, but nothing special, like nothing special. And I put her down. And the thing is, I walked in expecting like amazingness, like the most, amazing perfume i've ever smelled because this gets so much hype on the internet fast forward a year a year and a half later i go back to the store i smell it again and this time i'm like okay this smells really pretty i like this i mean i was in i'm in my little like per pretty perfume era right now um and i was like oh this is cute like i'm gonna add her to the collection once again i wasn't wowed i wasn't like oh my god like the best perfume i ever owned like for me that's delina okay in my mind she don't top delina but when i put her on the way i get so many compliments from people like this is my number one most complimented perfume that i own and mind you i be feeling like i be eating when i step out okay like after the layers the oil this and then the perfume that and then butter this like i made sure it all blends and it works okay and i smell delicious when i step out the house this one took me by surprise but it's so like pretty but like light but then like she still like speaks 
Um, I do overspray. She is more of a skin scent, in my opinion, a more personal scent. Um, I know some of y'all, y'all are like three or four spritz and you're out the door. And then you're wondering why your perfume doesn't last. Some perfumes, three or four is good. Baccarats, Ouds, you know, listen, three or four is good. Some other fragrances, I'm not going to tell you how much I spray, but just know that I spray enough that I'm getting compliments from people that's walking past me, okay? Now, I don't think I've ever gotten a compliment from a man wearing this, so that's what you're looking for. I don't know. Um, but women, like, I've had women chase me down. <laughs> I mean, and I, Delina used to be my most complimented. Delina, my little Delina mixes, but this one has surpassed that by an astronomical amount. Like, I am almost disrespected by the amount of people that compliment me on this and haven't said anything about Delina. But that goes to show you, like, ugh. And I don't have to mix it with anything. Like, just by itself, it smells good. And I just, wow, I'm ranting and raving about this. I'm so sorry, but yeah, I am very much so enjoying Glossier U. It's a perfume that I wear during the day for the most part. I just throw it on and go. I don't typically mix it. So like I said, it's an easy throw on and go situation. And that's usually why I gravitate towards it. Especially if I'm in a rush or something, but I want to smell good. Like I want the extra something. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> Speaking of smell goods. Oh, don't do that. Speaking of smell goods, I wanted to highlight the Clean Linen Candle from Scented Hibiscus. Now, I'm usually more of a vanilla girl, um, but I do love a clean linen fragrance. Ugh, okay. So I got the candle and I was like, okay, like this, we about to, you know, smell like laundry in the house. Oh, like this smells like laundry, but it has something in it something so it only has linen and chamomile on the front here i don't know what the other things are but it smells like laundry but there's extra something in it but it smells so good and it's so fragrant and it projects and it lasts long the burning time on these candles are ridiculous and when i think about it it actually pisses me off because now i'm starting to think that other brands are purposely adding things or using certain products that make the candles burn faster so you have to buy them more often when i said i burned this from morning to night and it took me forever to burn through these and these are just 13 ounce candles okay these are not the huge bath and body work candles these are not the huge whatever candles this is a standard sized candle and it will last for days and days and days and days and days okay but i truly see how much longer these burn than regular candles because i like to mix my candles so the most recent mix was this and some candle from um target like a bergamot and cedarwood maybe bergamot and something and i like to blend them so i had the bergamot one and this one burning together the bergamot one <laughs> was done after a day and a half this one i don't know what kind of sorcery what products they're using over at scented hibiscus but what i do know is that they're clean they're not bad for you they don't contain all the nasty chemicals and stuff that the other ones do not that it'll stop me from using the other ones but like i said i'm not the most green person okay but when you make it easy for me you make it easy for me i'm signing on all of a sudden yeah green reduce your carbon footprint that's terrible. I know it's terrible. I'm laughing, but it's really not a laughing matter. I know it's something I should be working on. I know it is. Um, and I am working on it with Scented Hibiscus. Thank you so much for helping to uh, support our green earth. So next, my next favorite is the Barilla Protein Penne Pasta. Um, I'm trying to remember if I've ever tried the Barilla brand before. I usually always do Banza, Banza. And you know, it's it's a healthier option and it tastes like it, you know? Um, <clears throat> now my biggest concern is the texture. Um, so that's why I don't necessarily love the Banza. I'll still eat it, you know, because I like what I'm getting from it nutrition wise. But I found that this pasta retains the most regular pasta ish texture that i've tried across the board from all these different brands and um i'm like shocked and appalled because like uh, uh. and now that i think back i think somebody mentioned this in a video where i said 
that I've had protein pasta and it tasted real protein pasta-ish. But this one is not bad at all. Like, if you didn't tell me, let me not say that. I was gonna say, if you didn't tell me it wasn't protein pasta, I would think it was regular pasta. But I will say that out of all the other brands that this is my favorite, so much so that I went and bought three more boxes. And now I'm gonna be eating pasta for the next month. Period. Yeah. That's my girl. All right, moving on. Okay, we're almost done. <laughs> Before y'all judge me, just know, just know that I needed this, okay? I needed this. I mentioned in a couple vlogs ago that I needed a tumbler, an insulated tumbler that also had either clear top or some kind of marker or something so I can see how much liquid is left in the cup. And um, I got just that. Okay, now I love my simple modern cups. I would never not love those cups. Okay, so much so that ever since I've upgraded to these tumblers, I have not used any other my water bottles. And that's so sad for me because you guys know I have quite the collection. Um, it's looking like I'm going to be downsizing soon because I'm quite content with the ones that I have now. Um, but I just something about not seeing the water started to like affect me later on. So that's why I said, let me try something new. Now I did see this ad on Instagram for Hydro Jug. And I was like, oh, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Like, this is what I need. How odd that Instagram would somehow generate this ad just for me. Um, but yeah, so I bought her. The real appeal for me. Well, the real appeal was the see-through top. Um, these stickers are on here. Am I supposed to take the, I am supposed to take these off. That's a very nasty word. Um, well, at least you know, when you wash them, they don't get nasty. Oh, wow. And it's, it's left and right hand friendly. Hold in your dominant hand, place lid on with the straw pointing at three o'clock and turn clockwise. Oh, you know what, There's, that's true. Because the straw is like that, but then the other, that is true. I have noticed that. Um, yeah, so um, I could have taken more. Why didn't I take these stickers off before, Lord? Oh my, look how much more I can see. I mean, I didn't feel like I didn't see enough before because I did see around a sticker, but you can really see now. I don't have any ice in there, but the second biggest appeal, and it was a pretty big appeal, is that it's spilled through. Spill proof. Ah! <laughs> This video is so embarrassing, but this video is spill proof and the ad they're like putting like green powder or protein powder or whatever and they're like shaking it all in the camera and I'm like, yeah, that's cute. You guys always say things are spill proof and then they spill. So where's the proof? Um, I actually put this to the test and it actually is spill proof. Now it's spill proof when it's completely closed, uh, straw down. If this straw's up, baby, it's spilling everywhere. Like be clear. All right. Make sure it's all the way down and a residual in the little mouthpiece, okay? Make sure you all the way, all right? But once you do that, and this has been tested. I've had it on my bed. I literally sat it on my kitchen table, purposely sat it down to see if it was gonna spill. And I'm just so happy with the result. I don't know if it's going to remain spill proof over time, cause a lot of times you buy things and they start off great and then eventually the the, the quality reduces, okay? But like I said, that wasn't the number one reason why I got it. So if that happens, then so be it. But this is perfect for your purse. Like I have avoided putting any kind of cup in my purse because I don't care what they say, it always spills. This has defied that for me and I love it. So you're not going to get 50 hours. Well, maybe, no. You won't get 50 hours of ice sitting in here but you do get a very significant amount because like I said, it is, it's not insulated on the top. So it will melt quicker than like a Stanley or simply a simple modern, but this does last a very long time. Like I have no complaints. I have one complaint. Can I get this in a bigger size? Like this same exact situation, but in a bigger size. Cause the one I got from Target um, is 50 ounces. I believe this is 40, but the one from Target, first of all, the lid was so hard to, Put on and off like it got annoying after a while because if the cup is full and you're trying to take the lid off to like add water or add electrolytes or something like you might spill water all over you um two the straw was like free balling in there which i didn't mind at first but then realized it made it very conducive to like spilling over and stuff and i'm spoiled now because this is spill proof like uh, 
Ah! I love it. No, but seriously though, hydro gel, y'all ate. Y'all ate, y'all. Look, look, look at that. I should have ice in here to show y'all. Like, look at that. Oh, this is great stuff, y'all. Great stuff. I really love this. Look, I didn't even take off the side sticker. That's crazy. What is my life about, honey? Rubber base, leak proof, keeps water cold up to 24 hours, BPA free, food grade, stainless, less refills because it's 40 ounces, cup holder friendly. Hydrate with us. Hydro jug. Hydro jug. If y'all ever want to work with somebody, call me, please. Like, you have no idea how much I ride for y'all. Like, the cup is so sleek. It still gives me the simple modern vibes. I love it. And it's just great overall. Jimmy Mutt, is not the time to try and take out the sticker? You had the sticker on here for like 16 weeks. Be for real. And I also appreciate that the straw isn't super small. <laughs> small. I hate big bottles with super tiny straws because you're sucking your life away. Like, <laughs> trying to get enough water in your mouth. Like, why are you making do? Why are you making me do all that work? Jaw strong as hell, muscly, swole. Looking like a bodybuilder's back. For what? To drink some water? That's crazy. So yeah, hydro drug, y'all ate. <laughs> y'all ate. <laughs> Last but most certainly not least in his favorite are my workout sneakers. So I've been testing out, because I've had workout sneakers before and I've also bought some this year. Well, last year technically. <laughs> and some I bought for aesthetics, some I bought for support you know, trying to see what works best for my feet. And out of all of my shoes, the ones that I gravitate towards the most consistently are these, these uh, New Balance 608s. Um, I got these from Amazon. Um, unfortunately, they just have this one in black. The black one gives very much, you work in a kitchen, slip resistant kind of shoe. It doesn't have the same vibe as this one. I got the black one specifically so I can get the same uh, vibe as this, and that's not what I received. So they did not survive um, Juve in Trinidad, unfortunately. I went ahead and just left them there because babe, you're not coming back home with me. Um, but yeah, but the white ones, like these, they're not the most appealing, but with the cute work outfit, like it's cute, like it gives, okay? Not too much, not too much on my sneakers now. But for my feet situation, I do need support. So like the super soft sneakers don't really work for me, but I still need some softness. Like I need memory something. I just need it on top of like really serious structured support. And that sneaker does it the best for me. Now, do I plan on trying some more in the future? Absolutely. Am I eyeing some hokas right now? Cause I heard those are great. I need to try them for myself to see if they're great for me. Um, but until I do that, I'm 608, yeah eight down okay so that's it for my favorites we're gonna run through my empties and that'll be it for the video oh my god let me throw this in here because yeah i burned her down to the ground honey ain't nothing left this clean linen is a favorite and an empty thank you another one thank you <laughs> do i have one left stop playing with me oh it's a toothpick I finished yet another box of the dr dennis gross uh peeling pad peel pads like I said, I haven't really been using much of these lately, but I did finish this one. Um, shout out to vitamin C, Polish Choice. Get me right. And no breakouts. No breakouts. Y'all know it is very, very, very hard for me to not have a breakout if I'm not using some kind of acid to keep my um, my skin at bay. And when I tell for the past couple of weeks, I have had no breakouts. I don't know what's in that vitamin C, y'all. Like, I'm clueless because if i didn't use that i would definitely be breaking out like i don't get like super crazy like cystic acne or anything but i will get pimples and especially around that time of the month hormonal acne stop playing stop stop playing stop playing but yeah i went through a lot of skincare actually because i also finished a bottle of the clarence double serum with the hydric and lipidic system you guys know i actually really love clarins um it's unfortunate that i'm in my lazy girl area era um, i also finished another jar of the it cosmetics confidence cream um this stuff is really good this is my go-to for the winter i'm currently working on another jar right now so um once i finish that jar i'll probably move on to something else for the summer just to try something new but every winter like clockwork once it gets to that cold time of year, my skin needs all the hydration that this offers. Oh 
my gosh, I've been dropping things like crazy the past couple of weeks. Like, what is, uh, um, another, another empty is the Being Frenchy um, Renewing Body Wash in Bergamot Cedar. I think this is my favorite scent out of the whole line. Solar Flare is another really good one that I obsessed with. Vanilla Cashmere. Ugh, but I really love that one in a spray. So I love this line because it's affordable at Target. They have body washes, they have body oils, body sprays. I think they have bath bombs and hand serums and roll-on perfume and candles. I believe that's the full lineup, but I really, really, really love this brand, particularly because this body wash does have nice skin of mine. And you guys know I love when they add um, skin enhancing properties to like body washes as well, because like, it's not just the face, honey. It's the body that needs to be clean, clear, and under control. Yeah. Um, and it smells great. And once again, affordable at Target. So like, why are we not trying this, you know? Um, I love an expensive product, but I also love a TPT. Yeah, yeah. Um, once again, it just smells really good and fresh. Oh, yeah. Definitely my number one fragrance on this line, for sure. Speaking of... And more expensive body washes i feel like this is like the big daddy um of this this line right here so this is the next necessary body wash i was telling you guys about and eucalyptus eucalyptus is my favorite but i'll do like eucalyptus i'll do the bergamot and the sandalwood um unscented mm, not so much but give me a scent y'all know i love a scent honey this is actually the refill container so i pour this into the, the original twisty situation and baby when i tell you i, I go through these okay Unlike some of y'all who's not washing y'all legs, I wash my full body irregularly. So I be going through my products. Do you go through yours? Hmm? Oh, I didn't mean to eat my lip. I have a lot of body cleansers here. Wow. I sure do love a good bath. <laughs> Next, I'm very sad to say it is the Monostat Feminine Cleanser. Um, she is not empty. She's actually quite full. Um, I liked this because it said that it was a cleanser and it came with boric acid in it. So it gently cleanses away odor and discharge and it's cheap, it's like five, six dollars at Target or something like that. And um, it says safe and gently cleanse, matches a healthy and balanced pH, non-irritating. Now at first, when I started using this, no issues, right? Um, I felt very cleansed afterwards, very balanced, no no issues, of course. But then I started noticing that when I used that consistently, I would feel like I would be on the verge of a UTI. And mm, 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 mm. it took me it took me two or three times of feeling that way to realize that this was a culprit. Now, I've never kept using it past that to see if a full UTI would develop because the second I feel a little, mm, you know, a little mm, before it's a full blown UTI, baby, I stopped everything and I start pounding the probiotics with the with the cranberry, cranberry and demonos, whatever. Baby, I'm I'm drinking 48 gallons of water a day. I'm flushing that's that I'm flushing out of my system. I'm I'm not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that, okay? Um, so this is why I RIP, because I'm pretty sure I have one bottle, I used it, and then I went back. I started using other stuff, went back to this. That same feeling came back and I said, no, it's her, it's her. And then I think I read the comments and there wasn't too many people saying that, but a few people did say that this did lead to them getting UTIs. And so I said, ooh, my body tried to warn me and I didn't listen. And I didn't listen, but I'm listening now, honey. And that particular body wash, unfortunately, does not work for me. Last but not least, we have the Lumi Acidified Body Wash in Unscented. Um, and also, unfortunately, this does not work for me. But the sad thing about this is that this worked for me so well for so many years. You guys know I was ranting and raving about using Lumi Body Wash on my feminine parts. Oh, it was beautiful. And then one day, one very sad day, my body decided she just didn't like it anymore. Like, girl, what the hell is your problem? Oh, my body is so annoying. She's so annoying because what is actually your problem? We were having a great relationship. You just one day decided, mm, mm, not so much, mm, not so much. And I just want to say, you know what should be in this favorites list? 
my probiotics because whenever something start to mm, and i stop using it and i hit them probiotics baby the way my body will recalibrate now i always catch it right when it's on the verge of starting to do something when it's about to act up don't be in a, in a full-blown infection thinking a probiotic is gonna heal you because it's not go to the doctor call your doctor uh go to urgent care uh i, I wouldn't recommend the er because they're gonna charge you 15 grand just to step foot but if you can go to urgent care and you got insurance they might charge you 25 30 50 maybe 100 if you don't got a good plan but go somewhere please but man oh man i was so distraught over this one and I thought maybe it's the particular bottle that I'm using. So I stopped using that bottle, started a new one. And the thing is, first couple of days, it's great, amazing. And then by day six, it's like, mm, this is giving something different. This is giving something that I didn't ask for. What's going on here, buddy? Yeah, so um, RIP to Lumi. First, it was my armpits. The deodorant stopped working for me after a while. Not a coochie cream, no uh, wash, don't work for me no more. Like, my body does not love joy. Like, my body does not like healthy ingredients. And I hate that for me. Because when I was using chemicals 24-7, no issue. Secret, clinical gel, whatever gel, Outlast, invisible gel, nothing. I start using Lumi clean ingredients. It starts off great. And then eventually she gets an attitude and wants to pop off. You don't like healthy, sis? You don't like using products that don't have carcinogens? Oh, no. No, you want the carcinogens. Anyways, I'm getting upset, clearly. Um, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. At the very least, I hope you're entertained. And I hope you tried the vitamin C by Paula's Choice, okay? Because like I said, it... At first, I was tripping. I'm just kind of like, what? Because if you look close, my I feel like, but you see your face every day, so you're not going to see the changes for real, for real. But I'm just like, I see the things that aren't perfect on my skin, right? But then also, my skin looks really good. And I don't know how they do it. I don't know. I be finding so many good things. But that's why y'all got to keep up with these videos, because... Things be great for me for six months, and then after that, it goes downhill. They turn on me, backstabbers. But it's really my body turning on itself. I really hate that for me. It's so ghetto. But anyways, that's it for this video. Like I said before, I truly hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> and why y'all tell? Oh, I did it again. Why are y'all not telling me I'm getting gloss all over my lip? Okay. I can't be wearing this with a mizzle line. Like, I just can't. Like, this is actually a mess. What is happening? Y'all weren't gonna tell me. Okay, bye. Bye.